Sure. What percentage of people that clean naked do you think do it because they enjoy it? Zero percent. Really? Zero percent. I don't know. I think that that's unrealistic. You're saying there's not a single person. I'm saying it takes a lot. People do pornography because they like it. That's different. Like that is that. Look, pornography, whether you like it or not, can lead to different things. Fame, fortune. You, it's a money-making machine. Uh, no, you, but people do pornography because they like sex. Oh, were you talking about they fuck, they fuck their husband and then throw it up online? No. I'm talking about people like porn stars. Some of them are like, look, I just love, I love doing it. Yeah, but they make good, good money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, um, Naked Maid is going to some strange guy's apartment that they don't know, taking off their tops cleaning this is a, this is real right is that real every time we're in la we see that pink van driving around that's like naked maids to your house i've never seen it in new york and wait wait wait, wait, wait. i have to ask something here. so yeah. what is the what is what is your end of this deal do you sit in each room and stare at them while they clean with a half erection i just assume that you jerked off while they cleaned i don't stop know stop it I, why are you why are you going uh, hold on let's do it let's get sal's got his computer open i'm gonna make it made here right now if you could do that I'm in for fifty percent of that. Naked that cost. Maid. Naked maid? Are they maids? Is that is that, I don't want to. I don't want to clean. No maid. I mean, don't worry I don't about wanna, sexism uh, in this instance. No. The naked maids. <laughs> naked maid. Right. Uh, Staten Island cleaning services. Yeah. Naked maid. But this has naked maid dash escorts. That's now you're tampering. Yeah, with I don't want to get this. I want a topless maid Twitter. No, there's not. This is it. This is the van we see in L.A. Scantily, here's one. Scantily clad maids of New York. Home improvement. It's got a Facebook page. 319 people. Open always. Four dollar signs. That's the man we see in LA. Look at. Meet our newest scantily clad girl, Bubbles. Get it? She works in the Orlando area. This is on the page of scantily clad maids of New York here. All right. She loves to show off her tight young body. Her schedule's wide open for appointments, but will fill up fast as she's so hot and sexy. Okay. You man or woman enough to book her to clean your place? Well, why are they why are they making it like a or, or why are they putting us on the opposition all of a sudden? Is it working? Do you feel like I don't know if I'm man enough? I I I I, I, I take uh, exception to that question. Uh, why does that have to do with I'm man enough? Uh, I'm not sure. How about I'm just curious and I'm looking into it. All of a sudden, you got a label. You got to start labeling. You're putting this on yourself. I don't think you should. Go online and get her information and book her today. She's ready to come clean your place or make you a drink. What is going on here now? What's oh, because she's a maid, like almost like a butler. So it's not just cleaning services. It's like a butler service. Ah. Bubbles also works in our other scantily clad companies, scantily clad party boats, okay. and scantily clad events. Okay. So basically... Janice or whatever bubbles called up his place and was like, I'm gonna do shit with my tits out. Just let yeah. me know what to do. Yeah. Book her for one or all when you're going to be in Orlando. Uh reference her. All right. How about this? Oh my oh wow. Why? Oh, Jesus. You got a picture of bubbles? Thanksgiving Day is coming fast. How about serving up something sexy? They can serve and clean up too. Nothing like a scantily clad, scantily clad maid on Turkey and Football Day. The last thing you should worry about is cleaning up your place. Book a scantily clad maid now, and we'll take care of the mess for you while you relax and enjoy the view. Do they have pictures? Is that imply? Did that, see that? Was that a cryptic sentence that says you could your girl? Look, so book a scantily clad maid now, and we'll take and we'll take care of that mess for you. <clears throat> I just. Here it is. Well, right. We'll take care of that mess for you while you relax and enjoy the view. Look, I'm not saying it happens every time these ladies go on a call, but I would be willing to bet a lot that they deal with the occasional guy. Yeah, but that's either code red or like – because they – I don't know. I could see that being like, don't you dare. Like, almost like when guys go to a strip club and, they, you know, they're not supposed to touch someone. They touch someone and all of a sudden it's like, this asshole, throw him out. Yeah, but. Like, well, you know. But I mean, I bet you they're like, look, how much is this? 50 bucks for the cleaning? $99 for the cleaning? There's an extra There's an extra 50 on top. Oh, you think that they. I just jerk off. Uh, yeah. Oh, that's horrible. Hey, clean that up. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> um <laughs> 
This is this is funny. I like how they're they're, they're looking to legitimize. Right. There's just a, a lady in like lingerie in the kitchen, probably like double Z breasts. Right. And then it just says, "Serving up this cleaning tip: eliminating wax spills. <laughs> to remove hardened wax from a fabric, place a paper towel or brown bag on the top of the wax. Press with an iron on low heat. The paper absorbs the wax, and your iron stays clean. The, so." Here's what I would really love in my heart of hearts, that this is a place serious about cleaning (laughs) that has found ladies to pull out their boobs, (laughs) not the other way around, which is, you know, young party girls looking to support, you know, either a drug habit, put themselves through college, a kid, or just like the final things in life that that wants to come to your house and, you know, swash around a a Windexed paper towel, but with no real... No right. real love, like no real, uh, you know, enthusiasm behind it. I want the lady who's been cleaning her whole life who was right. like, oh, I can make double if you see a nip. Right. Let's do it. And she comes here and she's telling me all sorts of tips, cleaning tips. Let me it'd be, you. it'd be, it'd be more fun <laughs> and possibly sexier for yeah. me if she was dead serious about cleaning my place with the boobs out. And we were talking seriously right. about like, T- t- tricks and tips on how to right. like get the gunk out of the soap. She's like that. See that spot on that rug? I can get that out for you. Right. But I need I need white vinegar, warm water, and baking powder. Right. And I'm gonna, that's and, and and she's serious about that. There's no foul stuff afoot. No. That makes the boobs out sexier. Right. If you come in, you're like, hey, where's the Windex? And oh. then you just like, spray it in the air and do twirls. <laughs> you could leave. Spraying Windex in the air. You know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> How much if a fan of Impractical Jokers contacted you? Yeah. And was like, I want you to come to my house, do some light cleaning while I watch. <laughs> That's so freaking weird. I know. How it much? It sounds so weird. How much? I have to be naked? No, no, no. Oh. No, no, no. Not at all. They're just paying for you oh to come to the house God. and clean. So I go. Yeah. To, I make calls to people's homes yeah. based on who we are, based on the fact that they like the show. Yes. And I'm fully clothed and I just clean their home. Yeah. They, but I, it's not a serious cleaning. Like it's – it's you're going to do some light dusting and, and, and sweeping. I, I'll put this out there right now. Yeah. When you say it's not a serious cleaning, if I have to do anything else, I don't want to be on – I don't. Ha- I don't want to have to entertain them, tell jokes. I don't want to have to ingratiate them to me. That's fine. I want to go there, clean, and Light. that's it. You're not going to get sweeping. You're not some- going to get stories. You're not going to get jokes. You get a pleasant person, right? And but fo- I'm not there to answer questions, right? But they get a photo with you at the end of you holding like a broom with them, right? But I'm telling you right now, it's I- not a meeting. I'd rather we'll do their dishes, right? Windex, do some laundry, right? And keep to myself with the occasional, like, you know, right. how's everything going? Good, good. Yeah. And then they get one photo. Yeah. Uh, I will tell you right now, it's yeah. not a digital photo. Okay. Film. Yeah. Polaroid film, What's whatever the it is. They're going to be able to scan that and put that online. Then let them do those extra steps. Okay. So you bring the Polaroid camera. Correct. And if they pull out their cell phone to take a, fi- a picture, yeah. it deals off. How you that? collect your money and you leave. No. One thing I can't stand uh, is digital photos. Okay. All right. So I, I would do that. How much? I would do that. Okay. How much? Well, look. No travel. New York area. <clears throat> Tri-state area. <clears throat> All right. Well, this is going to seem crazy, but it's going to be high because I don't have to do it. Right. You tell me I can name my price. Name your price. And this is real. So like, in other words, I really am going. They really do watch the show. I am who I am. They yeah. like the show. I already have a job. This is on a uh, like a goof or like f, f it. Right. I want to see what I can yield yield here. Yeah. Okay. I will go to their house. Well, see, here's the thing. This I don't want to let any cats out of the bag, but why? We make a decent living doing things. Like I, if I'm gonna do that, it's got to be replacing the time I could be making money doing. You have a day off. I love. <clears throat> Five thousand bucks. Five thousand dollars. Yeah. And you'll go and do that clean for a half hour. Half hour. I'm trying to be reasonable. No, I hear you. I feel like a thousand's cheap. I was thinking. Don't don't get, don't get I was me. thinking ten or fifteen. Okay, there you Let's go. Say, I'm don't say get 10. me wrong. I, I think a thousand dollars is a lot of money, but I'm, for, for what I, I'm willing to do this, right? I think. Uh, well, because I'm also trying to not price myself out. Like how many how many local people in the area for a half hour right. are going to pay ten thousand dollars for me to come do a little you know scrub daddy? So right now you're saying, and I'm saying. 
I'll, I'll, I'll do you one better. Go. I'll, I'll do this. Yeah. You'll do it? I'll do it. I'll do it too. I will do this for $5,000. Well, I'll do 10 so I mean. In the New York area. Well, you're pricing the head of the fucking market. You price yourself out. I said the price first. I mean, can we say seventy five hundred? If you said ten and I said five, say, that would be an can undercut. Can we say seventy five hundred? <clears throat> this point, we're, we're we're right in the middle. You get a little more, I get a little less. I understand, but then they got to hire us both for fifteen k. No, 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 no. Oh, but now now you you just came in and, and took share my market. What's well, my share. idea? This is my idea. <sighs> but the idea was posed to me. Now, don't don't start <laughs> horning in on my. All shit. right, five thousand dollars. Sal Volcano will come to the house, do some light cleaning. How about this? Half hour. How about this? Okay. How about I do one as a litmus test for the both of us? Okay. For 5K. Okay. We will discuss everything soup to nuts on the podcast. Right. And if it goes well, yeah. I swear to, to all Christ, we will legitimize this. <laughs> and we will both we will both put it up. Yeah. And 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 we will have to go one for one. Well, then that doesn't make any sense. I was like, we'll go one for one, but we'll split everything. But then that's yeah, yeah, legit half. Right. No, no. That's how we'll guarantee that like all of a sudden I don't get 100 calls and you get zero. Right. Basically, we'll alternate. Right. So it'll just be like, right. Well, if somebody prefers you over me, I don't want to show up on their doorstep. No, but you know you'll I mean? have to say only Q is available. Right. At this time. Right. So you get, it, you get one, I get one. This is a way to make it even. Right. Okay. Unless... Well, why don't we see if anybody hires you for the first one? Okay. 5K cash <clears throat> that's off gotta, the books. That's got to be cash off the books, guys. I'm sorry. It's got to be cash off yeah. the books. And I will I will bring the cleaning supplies. I will tell you right now what I will do and what I will not do. Okay. Okay? I will arrive at your home. Yeah. Uh, and it will be a full 30 minutes from the time I begin cleaning to the time I end cleaning. Right. There will not be tons of time before and after this. Right. You're not <laughs> buying me to come as the entertainment to a party. You're not buying me to come t- take pictures, autographs with all your friends. Right. This is an experience you're buying, much like the topless maid experience. This is a topped male experience. It's got to be you and only the people who live under that house. Right. If how, this this is this is nothing. Okay, I, I'm getting this all right now. Ready? Right. Okay. You will PayPal me the first thousand dollars. Oh, I was gonna take the money up front. You. You okay, 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 you're right. Yeah. No, no. You know what? You give me the 5000 up front. Right. Because when I show up, if all the criteria is not met, I'm walking out with the 5000 Right. I want this to be good for you. But sure. here are the You're guidelines. not going to look for reasons to walk Hell out. Hell no. No, you're holding I'm it. happy to do this. Yes. And I want to discuss it on the podcast. Right. But I, you, you can't have a bunch of company over. Right. Uh, it's got to be whoever lives in your home mm. and... I'm telling you, I, I'm not gonna go there and like dance and and ch- and chuck and jive. You're clean. I'm going there to clean. I will not be mean to you. We can conversate right. while I clean, but I'm not gonna answer a hundred questions like it's one on one. Hey, question what, time. what are you gonna do when everybody knows you? How are you gonna make the show when everybody knows you? I'm out. I walk out with five thousand. <laughs> You're out. Okay. I show up. You tell me what I, I will Windex. I will vacuum. Right. I will sweep. Yeah. I will do windows. I will do dishes. Windows within a half hour. Yeah. Okay, got it. Uh, I will do laundry. Right. No, I will not do laundry. I wouldn't do laundry. Laundry's done. Yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm not doing laundry. I will vacuum, sweep, do dishes. I will uh, dust. Mm-hmm. I will Windex. Right. Uh, I will not do any heavy lifting. Right. <laughs> and I will not tackle a project that is unreasonable. Like, don't have me come and, like, you live in a house that should be condemned, like from hoarders, right. like a Collier's mansion, or yeah, some shit like that, right, right? I will not do that, but I will show up with a smile on my face. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> I will bring the supplies. Okay, I will not bring the vacuum, right? But I will bring supplies within reason. I'll bring some Windex, some soap, some paper towels. Okay, and that's just a bonus because normally clean people don't do that. That's just a little something for you. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I'll say hi. My name's Sal. This is fun. Well, how about uh-huh. this? How about you throw this in? I that? will have one person with me filming it. Okay. What? Here's I'm going to throw this out there. The cleaning supplies that you bring, you sign and leave behind. No problem. Yeah. Give them a little. You know. No problem. Give them a little something. That's great. I will. Yeah. I will sign the Windex or whatever it is. Right, right, right. Leave that behind. You will get one Polaroid photo. I already have a Polaroid camera. Right. You get one Polaroid photo with me if you like. I will sign that and personalize it. Right. Which you can do with Polaroids. I'll, be, I'll probably right. wear a jumpsuit just so it looks – I looked apart. Right. 
I will have one person with me filming it on a, probably a phone or the like, just a small handy cam, yeah. just for the podcast and to document it. Sure. It will cost five thousand dollars. That will not go to charity. Right. That will go in my pocket. Well, you're working. That's right. And I promise you, I will do this. I will do this within twenty five miles of my house. Okay, that's uh, not that far. I will do this within fifty miles of Staten Island. How about that? Okay. No, that's a lot. Now I'm, now I'm taking hours to drive. No, Red Bank is is forty five miles away. Is it? Yeah. Okay. So I think you're safe with that. Within reason. Within reason. Yeah. It'll, it'll be case, case by case. case, case if case somebody case. sixty miles out calls you, yeah, you know, it's a straight shot down the New Jersey Turnpike. Yes. So you will pay PayPal me five thousand dollars. Right. I will send you the criteria of what I will do. We will have a discussion before, and I will call you on the phone. Right. We will review what we're doing. Mm-hmm. Uh, I will. I you cannot videotape me doing it. Right. And I will take a couple of pictures within reason. If you want to take a picture of me while I'm vacuuming, I will pose for it. You, you no know, candidates. No, no candidates. And all on Polaroid. And all on Polaroid. Right. right. Because we have to keep this propri- proprietary. Yeah. If people want to know what it's like, they got to hire me. Right. All of a sudden, they can't just be like, we can't be revealing everything. Right. That's it. I promise you I will do this. This is a, this is amazing. I will do it. I will do it to the first person who comes and asks. Right. Uh, we'll go over the criteria. It will be a pleasant experience for everyone. <laughs> you will know what you're getting into, and you will get exactly what I said I would deliver. Right. Okay. Great. Wow. That's it. Now, back to these topless mates. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Is this a real thing, and can we get them to come here, or can we just figure out what you're not going like to get interv- oh, here? I'll right tell you, not to be to be topless, but although maybe, why not get a topless maid to come here, and we get to ask you questions about this? I'm fascinated because we're in your house. If you want to do this, no, we'll we'll get a go come if to you want to get a hotel room, or a hotel room. Yeah, well, that's I don't want there's no shenanigans, but of course there's no shenanigans. Right. We're, we're both going to be there. We'll have a third party in there to make sure that they don't claim some sort of nonsense. Um, you know, we'll get Joe and Bergio. In the room, everybody right. feels safe around Third him. Third party, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe, we'll get, maybe we'll get our assistant, Julie, because she's a female. Sure. You know what I mean? Oh, here's an article. This is what really happens when you call a topless maid. I hope this isn't ugly. I, want th- I don't want this dream to... Shocker. Very little cleaning is involved. See, this is what I don't care for. I right. don't want... It. There are some strange businesses out there, but nothing like turning to expensive cities for the most interesting ones. The latest trend is topless maids which have vans popping up all over Los Angeles. What exactly is the kind of service they offer? According to their website, the company offers the only fun way to get through a cleaning of your place without, while being entertained, uh, to get a thorough cleaning of your place while being entertained. Cleaning services aren't the only things they offer. The website off- also offers topless waitresses. You can browse their gallery to pick which woman you want for an appointment. Um, this... Author of Thrillist decided to call and find out if they're real. Oh, this is kind of what the info we want. And I want to know if this is all like this. The writer made an appointment online for two hours, which is the minimum amount of hours you can book the service for 170 bucks, and got a topless Ukrainian maid. Mm. Nikki showed up in a t-shirt and jeans with a bag of stuff. Mm. She asked for a bathroom to change in, and within a minute she emerged in a topless maid's uniform. Bare, bo- bare boobs black and pink panties, a tiny maid apron with the company logo on it, a garter belt, fishnet tights, black platform ankle boots. Perfect for cleaning, right? Ha ha. Well, these maids don't actually do the dirty work. Another worker comes in to do light chores and dust. Get out. The cleaners could do more, but for an extra charge. And what does the topless maid do? She turned on some tunes, grabbed a hand swiffer, and started to dance. Before we knew it, we were grinding and dusting our way to one of the most Instagram-worthy nights of our lives. See what I'm saying about that shit? She taught us how to dust and dance at the same time, so much harder than it sounds, and how to give lap dances and twerk properly. Yes, there's a proper way to maximize ass popping. These outfits seem pretty legit because what kind of maid doesn't have a uniform, even if it's completely missing the top half? You're probably better off getting an actual gigging service to get a job done, but if you're looking for fun, this is the way to go. All right, I don't want that at all. Yeah, that doesn't sound. Why wouldn't I just go to a strip club if I was in the mood? Which for this I don't even like. No offense. God to bless to strip club people. I don't know. I, I it, it it they don't excite me. I like I said. I would want a topless woman to come here and be be concerned about cleaning. Right. That would excite me. Yeah. You come in, you start dancing. Come on. 
Enough. I'm with, the world's with the oldest music. profession. Can you turn down that music? Yeah. Yeesh. I would still like to interview someone. I want to find if you're a topless maid or know a topless maid right. that is in it for the cleaning. <laughs> no, I'm dead serious. <laughs> I want I want that maid. My thing is like, all right, I, I don't even stop. care what she looks like within reason. Well, you say that. I don't want like a like like someone that looks like they've been you know they they died and came back. But like no. I, but I don't need like some type of cover model. What? I think I think there's I think it is sexiness in the normalcy of it. I, it's a weird it's a weird intimacy like a forced bought intimacy and my it's well that's my how I feel about strip clubs. That's why I don't want any intimacy coming into this. I want them to be all business so I can secretly. Not so secret. I'm telling you right now, don't forget, email Chris ASAP if you want to hire me to come clean your house for 30 <laughs> minutes. I will do it. I will right. do it. doesn't even have to be like a long waiting period. You know, we'll, we'll figure out a day that is agreeable, and I want to see how this works. And if yeah. and you have a big responsibility, the first person that hires me. Not to fuck it up. Because if if it's a pleasant experience with you, right. I will be open for business. Yeah. Quote unquote, wink wink. Will sure. not be reporting any of this. My, and there's, there should be no record of the government list, knowing that I'm doing yeah. this. You, yeah, my fear is you know how they like, shouldn't be put down anywhere where it can be recorded no. up by the government saying that I'm doing this type of thing. This isn't a write off, people. Right, like you're not getting anything for this. Right, and this shouldn't be. We shouldn't talk about this anywhere where the government could come track right. it back to me. It's just between you, me, and the uh, eighty thousand. What say you listen? That's correct. Right. Actually, it's got to be more because our Twitter, we hit 100,000 We did right people on Twitter. So we actually have to have, just technically speaking. Little shout out to Chris Lodondo. Well, I've been spending time with him lately because he's, he's been on Tell Him Steve Dave. Yeah. Yeah. First of all, I <laughs> – Talk about keeping the faith. <laughs> yeah. First of all, loyal, dedicated. That goes without saying yeah. as a friend and as a, as a colleague who's, who's done stuff for us forever. But he does keep what say you active. He is responsible, I believe, largely, uh, if not all, for the, the tremendous growth spurt online on Twitter. And also he's the guy that has to field all the calls and – Probably annoyingly have to send me a text every few weeks, right. a very nice little text saying, hey, right. just want to know if you're ever going to do another episode anytime yeah. soon. Chris, appreciate all your hard work. Um, let's get this business venture of me cleaning people's homes underway. All right. I like it. That out. All right. Um, this is probably going to go up this week, right? Yeah. So it's worth mentioning that you should come on the cruise. The cruise is probably in about a week from now. The cruise keeps getting better. Like that's the thing. Like like the announced acts. The announced acts are amazing. Exactly. I'm gonna say something right now. Yeah. Right now. For five thousand dollars, I'll come and I'll clean your stateroom for ten minutes. Don't do that. <laughs> do not undercut me like that. Not yet. Well, this is the boat. No, but we have we have to do. We have a proof of concept. All right, you're right. You're right. But 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 I mean, we're there. Can I do something for a thousand cash? All right, what will we do on the boat for a thousand cash? For a thousand cash, uh, oof. Okay, on the boat, yeah, for a thousand cash. Yes, this is funny. Okay, <laughs> we'll go. We'll go to your room. Yeah, you tell us the room. Two of us. Yeah, we'll go to your All room. Right. So it's five hundred each. Five hundred each. I'll okay. go to your room. Yeah, we'll take a photo. Right. And we will leave your outgoing answer machine message for you on your cell phone. Now you're fucking talking. Okay. Now you're thousand talking. a pop. You get me and Q. <laughs> cash. Start, st- cash. It's right. got to be cash, guys. It's got to be cash. <laughs> it cannot be traced back to us. Right. Okay. All right. Here's what we're doing. We're going to put this out there, too. Yeah, but listen, if you're not coming on the cruise, you're still going to want to hire me for five grand. Five, That's five, without five. a doubt. This is a cruise-only opportunity. Chris will also be taking – if you're coming on the cruise, <laughs> this is a chance for people who don't live within 50 miles of New York to get a serv- a nice service at a decent price. Chris will be – will fact-check you. Is Chris on the boat? I don't think he is. He's got a wife and kids. It's uh, hard to get away, I know. All right. Well, that's a shame. I know. That's a shame. Well, we'll talk. Maybe we get him on the boat. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Chris will – you have to verify with Chris right. uh, your room number, mm-hmm. your proof of purchase, 
and mm-hmm. the names of the people in your room. Again, this is not a party. Right. It's not. This is not a pop up <laughs> strip club party in your room. It's not. We will not clean. Right. Come to your room. Yeah. We'll take a photo. Can be digital. Sure. Oh, nice. Can be digital here. We'll take a <laughs> digital photo with you. We will sign something. Right. Which we're doing anyway for everybody. I know. But, but this is a special delivery. But this gets us to your room. This gets us to your room, and we will say we will leave a message for you. Right. Through outgoing cell phone message. Five minutes tops. T- tops. Don't fuck with us. And we're not going to stick around to be good guys and friends afterwards. No, guys, like, we have a lot of obligations on this yeah. boat. We're only carving this out for the money, not for you. Don't get it twisted. Yeah, yeah. As my so, nieces say. There we go. All right. That's a 1000 each. Yeah. Show proof of purchase to Chris. We're keeping this. is not going to charity. Uh, this does not go to Joe Gatto or James Murray. Not at all. Right. Don't even tell them about this. Yeah. This is not, has nothing to do with them. Right. At all. If I find out that one of you tell them and then they start <laughs> undercutting us at the price and it's not a joke, yeah. I'm not kidding. Don't think you're funny and tag them in a tweet this is and a, say what's this all this is about. This is a what say you. You're gonna, this is a for what say you right. listeners. We are putting this boat. out there. 1,000, the both of us at your room, picture, autograph, outgoing cell phone message. <laughs> out. Out. We, we will be PayPal the money before yes. the trip and you will be put on a register and sometime in that – in that, on that boat, sometime we will get to your room. We will arrange for a time. Right. Even if there's five rooms, ten rooms, twenty rooms, whatever, we'll get to all of you. You will get your own special attention, and you will get to right. take photographs and all that right. stuff. And that's what we're doing. This has to remain <laughs> off the books. The government cannot know about this, and no, neither can anyone else. This is for what say you, Nuggalos only, right. or Nuggalants. You know, we'll, we'll move them. Nobody's going to take us up on this, right? They're already coming for on 1K? the cruise with us. Why not? <laughs> I listen, some, the cruise, I hope someone does. Listen, the cruise, we are going to be, there's going to be no shortage of us. We're spread way thin. We're going to be hosting every party. We're going to be yeah. running around doing all this stuff. You're going to catch glimpses of us. But this is guaranteeing right. at, at room 7072, right. whatever it is. And I'm going to walk in and say, how you doing? Take a picture. We're going to sign right. something. I'll take it one step further. I'll take that $500 cash. I'm going to walk up to the bar. I'm going to throw 20 bucks on the bar for everybody. <laughs> for everybody. Right on there. No, 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 no. Twenty dollars. No, because now you got to. No, no, no. Now you got to take. You got to walk to the bar. You, you're adding time. Time's money. No, no, no. At some point on the cruise, I'd be like, "Oh, guys, right. twenty dollars. Drink, dr- drinks up to twenty dollars. Whoever's there on me. Right, right. Only if I get the five hundred. I'm not doing. Obviously, right. I'm not we'll doing. We'll do that. that. You'll put down a twenty for oh, yeah. every room. That's that right. We do. Oh yeah. If I two rooms, forty dollars is going on that bar. That's right. Yeah. And if and if and you know what? If we get twenty rooms, four hundred dollars is going on the That's bar. think about that party. I'll tell you right now, we get twenty rooms. Yeah. There's this how many rooms? There's like a thousand There's rooms. A thousand rooms. If we get twenty rooms, that's right. what, two percent? Yeah. Two percent of you hire us to come leave your outgoing message. Right. At some point, that's four hundred each. Yeah. Which means at some point, eight hundred dollars is gonna be slapped down on the ball with an party. announcement made. Right. And people are going to drink right. on you guys and right. on us. Right. Well, on us, not on them. They yeah. got they got what they paid for. Correct. But right. just think about this, guys, because this yeah. is the kind of people we are. We're great guys. Right. I am, by the way, very <laughs> dead serious about both of these options. 100%. Yes. This would, this would be amazing if we could pull this off. Contact us. Here's what you're going to do, okay? And and I swear to you, if you if you waste Chris's time. Do not waste Chris's time. This is what you got to put in the email subject for Chris, okay? If it's about me cleaning... You put Sal cleaning. Sal cleaning. Right. Okay. In caps, Sal cleaning. If he opens that and it's not a serious inquiry, you will be blocked from our Twitter. Right. So help us. Life. I'll block you for fucking life. For life. And our personal Twitters. Blocked. We don't have time for the person that's listening. I don't have time for this shit. No. This is for real fans that aren't trying to jerk us (laughs) Real, relatively wealthy fans. That's correct. Who know enough not to waste that fucking time. People who have that kind of money that's dispensable. It's nothing to them. It's nothing to them. So that we're doing them a favor because that's going to go to nothing. It's going to sit in their bank or they're going to go do what? Buy a hoverboard with it? collecting interest in these days. It's going to buy a hoverboard with it. It's going to blow up into flames. Oh, bullshit. How about a memory? How about a memory for the rest of your life? That's right. With a Polaroid of Sal or a digital photo of the two of us if you're on the cruise. Now, if you want me to clean your house you put and you're within about 50 miles of, of, of new york you put sal cleaning and caps right. in an email to chris that's right if you want us to come to your room put what say wsy cabin visit yes all caps wsy cabin visit all caps again if 
You, you're allowed to ask a question. Don't go like you know. But if if it's clear that you're going to jerk him around, and oh, what questions could they have to ask? You know, we've it, laid out everything. You know what it point. is. They might be like, well, what time do they come by? Sure, that will be worked out with Chris. Yes, it will. After the money has been put, in serious the inquiries, inquiries yes. only. Right. You will be blocked for life from all of our social media right. if you if you're messing around with Chris and wasting his goddamn yeah. time. Right, and if you're serious, right. you're going to gain a fun memory. We're going to do it right. We're going to do it 110. percent That's right, and we will just be discussing all of this on what say you. That's right. All right. All right. 